Welcome to Trojan Treasure Time. In the last episode, we talked about how the operating bucket gets filled by both the state and local community. If your memory is really good, you'll even remember that the state uses a formula to determine how much funding a community is able to provide for its district called the Fair School Funding Plan. This plan has three components. Number one is base cost. The plan establishes a base cost of educating a typical child in Ohio. Number two is state and local share. The responsibility of funding the base cost should be shared between the state and local district with the local share based upon the ability of a school district's community to generate revenue based on its income, property value, and enrollment. And number three is categorical aid targeted assistance for critical needs that impact some districts. Now, let's look at the formula in terms of our district. Finley's property value, Finley's income, and Finley City Schools enrollment it is what makes up Finley's amount of state funding. Finley City Schools doesn't get to determine how much our community is capable of giving. The state of Ohio looks at these three things and determines how much they believe Finley is capable of contributing to Finley City Schools. So what does this mean? Simply put, it means that if our community passes regular levies for our school district, we will be able to keep our operating bucket filled. Those levies can be property tax levies, like we're used to here in Finley, or they can be income tax levies, like every other school district around us uses in addition to property taxes. Did you know that Finley City Schools is the only district in the area that does not currently have an income tax levy? Ultimately, Finley City Schools will always continue needing to pass levies to keep our buckets filled because all school districts need to continue passing levies in order to keep their bucket filled. So that is why we are starting to talk about the future and levies and the need for additional revenue. We are so lucky to be part of a community that has the capacity to support, sustain, and elevate our school district. Thank you for watching this episode of Trojan Treasure Time. And please stay tuned for our next episode, which is episode four, Why Do Schools Keep Asking for More Money? And what is House Bill 920?